I've been a Christian for 31 years. I've been told that I have strong faith, and even I thought I had strong faith, that I had the gift of faith. But what a lot of people don't know is I almost stopped believing in God. On Valentine's Day 2001, I was called to the emergency room. My 16-year-old son was in serious condition following a car accident. Once there, I was told there had been a fatality, the passenger in Bo's car. And since the boy had no ID, I had to go to the morgue to identify someone's child. And I did. I saw the 14-year-old lifeless face of my youngest son, Jake. Grief swallowed me. I couldn't see God in any of this, nor could I hear him. My faith wavered, and in those early days, anger was so much easier to feel than the pain. I felt betrayed by God, and so I lashed out at Him a lot. And then God let me see. He was holding me as a father holds his daughter close to him, even while she beats furiously against him. And when I couldn't hear God, the enemy violently shook my faith, telling me things like, there is no God, or there is no heaven, and that I'd wasted years of my life for nothing. I felt like the devil had thrown me down to the ground, shattering my heart in a million pieces. Then I finally heard God say, Nancy, you've landed on the solid rock of Jesus Christ. And when I answered, God, I can't do this, he told me he could, and he has. He took me more closely in his arms, hurting with me, until my accusations of him not caring turned into his merciful forgiveness. He held me and took my screams of anger upon himself and blessed me with his love. He never gave up on me. He never let go of me. He's restored and strengthened my faith and my joy. And I can praise Him with my whole heart once again. And someday, He'll wipe away every tear from my eyes. And then there'll be no more death or mourning or crying or pain. My hope is in my Savior, Jesus. My name is Nancy Joswick, and this is my story.